This is what got us pregnant. That I can really, confidently yeah. tell you, mates, this is what got us pregnant. We only tried it like that one month, and mm. that's when I got pregnant, mate. Wait, guys, before we get into the, to this video, we want to do a quick disclosure that we're going to go through a couple things that we used and that we think that did help us. But before anything, we do give all glory to God, and it was really a miracle how basically we conceived. Yeah. And we just want to give the shout out to God first. So we will talk about what we actually did. None of this stuff is sponsored. We did a bunch of research yeah. and like we were trying to conceive for almost a year. And there was doctors that was telling that if you've been following us for a while, you've been knowing that some doctors did kind of crush our dreams, crush our yeah. hopes and basically told fertility is going to be very hard. So uh, I mean, very hard. They said I would never, yeah, never put it lightly, get yeah. pregnant naturally that I should just do IVF. Hmm. Excuse me, mama. What is this yeah. floating in me right now? So that's why we say the first thing was to pray mm -hmm. and to have faith. First thing to get into it. So, yes, yeah, sis, that we got rid yeah. of first. So the mm -hmm. first thing would be to get checked. Yeah, because fertility. we wasted our time, mate. We did. We waited a while because we kind of thought we were under the impression, like I think a lot of people, that it was basically once you really, really start to try then basically Bam. it's gonna happen and we learned a lot along the way we learned so much about our bodies and just about the process and that's yeah. not the case so if you know you do want to really conceive the first you thing don't I, have to wait a year no the first thing i would do if you're thinking about getting a baby or like starting to be, get a baby go get checked out before you even start doing the deed go get checked out make sure your ovaries okay Make sure your man doesn't Both have. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of the times it's like you ask women, has your man been checked out? They're like, no. Excuse we, me, mama. Yeah. Get him checked we, out. We both got checked at the same time. And a lot of doctors, be, they're going to say, oh, if it hasn't been a year, like, don't worry, nah, nah. We both highly recommend before a year because yeah. imagine, like, the whole year and then you get checked and then you have to kind of address issues. You kind of wasted the and whole like, year, And like, imagine right? if we waited a whole year, my cyst would have only gotten bigger mm -hmm. and bigger and bigger. Yeah. So, got rid of the Ooh. ovarian cyst. To do that, I mean, we got prescribed some birth control that she took for a month. Yeah, we did a video, a whole we video a whole on video. that. So, we're going to yeah. have that linked. So, you guys can check that out. It was, besides the birth control, um, there was some diet changes. To put it in short, diet changes, the birth control, and fasting. She actually did do a three-day water fast. Mm -hmm. um, again, we're just saying what we did, right? Yeah. To get into uh, conception, basically, Naka and I did so much research on all the stuff, you know, because, you know, it wasn't happening. We're like, what supplements should we take, this and that. Me, on my side, first thing, even on both, is to reduce. We I reduced my caffeine intake, so I was having... I drink a lot of coffee. I love coffee. Every so day, like three one thing coffees a day. Was to reduce caffeine intake. Did um, you stop drinking coffee? I didn't stop. I reduced it. Okay. So I would have like one instead of three. <laughs> and the pre workout, you know, pre workout has like stopped. tons of yeah. caffeine. I had a non caffeine pre workout. Mm -hmm. So I'd do some stuff. That was a big changes. change for you, the pre workout, yeah. huh? Yeah. yeah. That was a huge sacrifice. It's okay, you know? Yeah. There's no sacrifices here. Yeah. Um, and then on my side as well, in terms of men health, I took the normal, so obviously like regular health supplements like um, fish oil. We'll get into fish oil when Naka talks about it. And then one thing that, that I did research on that I have not seen anywhere talked about online was Tonkat Ali. This is basically, they'll always talk about Maca. Like we have the Maca yeah, here. Yeah, but it wasn't doing much. And then we have the ashwagandha. You hear about these all the time, but one you never really hear. It's like a newer one is Tonkat Ali. Do your research on it. But this one is actually shown to increase the motility of the sperm mm. so it wasn't necessarily like the other ones will increase testosterone but you actually want to increase other aspects of your sperm right so this actually did help to increase i think sperm production it was shown in some studies mm. but do your research so this one i took that one i also took the maca mm -hmm. that helps increase testosterone Dominic felt bad for me so he started taking stuff too yeah i appreciate it actually made me feel better because I was like, oh, you're going to take some supplements <laughs> yeah. too. <laughs> I was okay in the test. Yeah. But I still wanted to like make me super sperm. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and then the ashwagandha is good for stress too, to reduce your stress. Because if your cortisone levels are, are high, it's not good for overall health and production too, right? Yeah. So I really appreciate that you took some supplements. Because I was supplementing. And then he was like, you know what? I'm going to take some too. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. But for me... um. I took these prenatals. I'm going to be honest. I wasn't the best at taking it every single day. I've had this, like, it's still 
pretty full. But I would take it like let's say Monday, Friday. And disclosure too, we did studies and a lot of the like supplements and stuff, especially for women for their eggs to actually change and produce healthier eggs. Let's say you supplement with folic acid to get the effects of that. Apparently it's like three months. Mm -hmm. So a lot of these things, we didn't even take it for three months. <laughs> But we had them in our arsenal. Yeah. So, so disclosure on that. But this is like what our research has brought. To yeah. Us. So that's why we're not sure if it helped because we didn't mm -hmm. really take these on a regular basis or like for three months. So these are the supplements that we were introducing into our supplements, like mm -hmm. into our daily regime. But we did do other things that are, I think, key components that we'll talk after the supplements mm -hmm. too. And also, guys, I took um, folic acid. You see that? I did my research on the brand and this is the best brand that I could find that people recommended from TikTok. So I took these two together. I would this take one this was important because of the fish oil. Yeah. So I had the uh, DHA and the EPA that you want to check. And on top of that, I took an extra fish oil. This one. Yeah. It's kind of like fish oil COQ10. You'll hear a lot about this. The mm -hmm. one that we found that was important. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that has ubiquinol mm -hmm. right here. We actually have to ship this from another country mm -hmm. to get it. It was expensive. And then I think one thing that really did play a part that you hear everyone talk yeah. about is iron supplements. So supplementing with iron and this one, Geritol, Mate. you start to take it as well. Yeah. They, they do say baby at the end of each bottle. Guys. The first month was, was this <laughs> one, yeah. And I got pregnant. Yeah. This it, it didn't one, finish the bottle. I didn't even finish the bottle. But we switched from this one to Floridex yeah. or something because this one had alcohol in it. Yeah, and I didn't so want no alcohol. Check check the ingredients. But this one, it was very hard to find too. We had to ship yeah. this from another country too. Yeah. But it, there was a yeah. baby at the end of the bottle. We had ordered the beef liver uh, pills because it's a lot easier than to actually eat beef liver. But, but never actually took this one. Yes, yeah, sesame. But our research had shown that this was a good one to take yeah but after, we didn't get to it <laughs> after i give birth i'm definitely i'm gonna take apparently this. it's yeah. good as well too a good one that was actually i think very helpful for reducing inflammation and to deal with your cyst we have this that we found in the store dominic would put it in my shakes yeah. every single morning so, oh <laughs> the main ingredients I, I like the taste of it the main ingredients of this there's turmeric there's ginger cinnamon all together and I think like turmeric is very good for inflammation to reduce inflammation, ginger mm -hmm. as well. So I think this and cinnamon is good for blood flow. So I think yeah. this was a good mix to have um, to supplement with. So those were the supplements we would try to take every single day, but we're messy. So, you know, it is what it is, mate. But these I really do think they helped mm -hmm. us get pregnant, uh -huh. even though we didn't take them every single day. Before trying these, we didn't get pregnant. And then mm -hmm. after we incorporated them in our diets, sesame was here. I think it really helped having both sides. Like You kind of yeah. want to cover all your bases. And this, like, we're just talking about now, but this was a me very, like, mentally exhausting uh. process. And if you're watching this video and you're going through it, like, we, we're going to keep you in our prayers because we know what you're going through. tired of just i just i have i always I'm, I'm tired of working so hard to get something that other people get so easily i'm not pregnant i mean how is this possible and it's it's not fun especially it's very... like yeah it, yeah and for I, both I, of us i saw you yeah. going through like very mental battles yeah, and me. hardships it was it was very it was hard. hard you guys and like even like if we weren't united like on the same page couples break up especially when it comes yeah, to like infertility that, yeah. issues because it's like i felt like i had no one to talk to like dominic yes like you know like i could tell him stuff, but he can't relate you know and just it's one thing to talk to someone that you know it's like they can only imagine the pain that you're going through versus someone that's been through it that can give you advice my family lives so far from me like i barely have any friends here so it's just like i i you know like i felt really like alone i had no one to talk to at the beginning before these supplements we didn't know anything like how I found out about all these supplements is like I would read forums, you know, like I would download apps about like pregnancy and like trying to conceive. That's how I found out about taking prenatals and like the iron supplements, tracking your ovulation. I had no idea you need to track your ovulation. And then also like if you're trying to conceive like in our community, we have a trying to conceive section 
where like you have a bunch of women that can help you a bunch of like you know women that have been through it so it's like it's really 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 helpful not to be alone when you're in that season of like trying to conceive and it's not working out you're getting mm -hmm. frustrated you feel alone your relationship it's like you don't get along with your partner there's like resentment you got along though yeah we got a lot no i'm just saying like yeah. for some people one, like one thing that really helped you is because like especially like, like for this like naka found out about tracking uh, ovulation properly from talking to other women who yeah. were tracking ovulation right mm -hmm. i saw that was very hard for her but one thing that would make her happy was talking to other women who were going mm -hmm. through the same thing so Guys, that was why i would show dominic all the time like yeah, look, the, look the, at this people. conversation yeah, yeah. So, so that was why originally why we launched our community mm -hmm. so there are a lot of women who are actually trying to conceive that are in the community as well so we actually kind of talked about all of this in the community before but there are a lot of people who wanted us to make this video so that's why we're also mm -hmm. making this video too but it's definitely important to be around people who are going through the same thing who mm -hmm. it's a support system right so yeah. that's the most important thing that i saw that it helped NACA was having a support system and mm -hmm. finding other people and just talking to other people about like that what's went going through on. what I yeah. went through you know because like yes you know Dominic is very supportive but he's never been through he doesn't understand the pain that I'm going through you know mm -hmm. and even now that she's pregnant like obviously I'm never going to be pregnant so <laughs> having a support system again of moms moms yeah. to be and just similar people going through the same thing it's it's a game changer mm -hmm. and you do want to surround yourself with positive people because it really does make a difference and you but, do like a lot of the time people are like oh i don't need to talk to anyone trust me mm -hmm. i'm the type of person that i don't like yeah. to be around people like i love my own company but when you're struggling and when you're feeling down and alone and, lonely, and you, yeah yeah it, it helps to be yeah. a part of a community so we're gonna have the link to our community mate we keep talking about the community because it, that's where it's at it's, it's mate. bumping it's really bumping y'all yeah. need to join but so besides the supplements these are actually i think game changers this is what got us pregnant that i can really, confidently yeah. tell you mates this is what got us pregnant like this is something that we did not skip like once we mastered how to track our ovulation Guys. it was game over sesame was on the way these <laughs> these is is no no joke having mm -hmm. all these these are all the ones i these are months over months over mm -hmm. months of tracking and perfecting the formula <laughs> but yeah, at Guys. the beginning like we had no idea what we were doing mm -hmm. like and you see how we like, were learning as we were going yeah, to be honest so but the real game changer that a lot of people are like, oh, I know when I ovulate. And we actually had the discussion with someone in the community as well that she was saying that she knows when she ovulates. And then we asked her, we're like, are you using strips? She's like, no, we use the app. And then oh. I was like, we used the app before. And that app wasn't the same no. as the strips because even though apps will be very accurate and they were very accurate mm -hmm. for NACA for her period cycle, it was not accurate for her the ovulation. Peak. Yeah. Because the app was saying her peak was like eight days out between like, uh, seven and ten days out is when I was saying it was the peak but with the strips we realized it was very early it was like mm -hmm. three to five days it was the peak so that was obviously it was, was a lot like earlier four days after mm. my period that I it was I, quick I, yeah quick we, we've never known if we didn't do the physical strips because mm -hmm. that's really your body that you're you, like it's telling it's my you, urinate right? basically and there is, yeah <laughs> and there is a difference too like sometimes she would take it and we realized it was different times of the day yeah. that it was a higher peak than a lower and, and you I can would take it really twice see. in the morning and mm -hmm. uh, at, at night, night. Mm -hmm. so, so basically we got studying these. the ovulation was a key this is the mom med yeah this one you get it on amazon it comes with this these is a little game, game changer this we're gonna use this for our next baby too it comes with the little pea cups which is game uh, changer too. essential they thought of everything so it comes with the pea, pea cup the it comes the, with the journals and then it comes with pregnancy tests as you can see i only have two left and then it comes with ovulation a lot yeah because you, yeah. you want to take a lot you, you, you do you take so a lot after that we locked down the ovulation the pinpoint the exact time day whatever of the month what we did was the day of we used to do it the day before yeah and then the day after because we thought some and sometimes the day of right because we thought that apparently it would take time for the sperm to travel into the egg and then the sperm's going to be there when the egg releases but that was not the case because it would never work mm -hmm. and then the the time that we did it it was peak peak ovulation we did it twice that day mm -hmm. but not only that but i think a game changer too is that she decided to at night after the little baby dance yeah to, the to baby dance. lie People down don't know there. what baby dance is baby mm -hmm. dance guys that's what baby dance is. <laughs> yeah. So like, let's be real. At first, um, when we did it on our peak, we did it twice that day. 
I Dominic was like, okay, put your legs up, and we decided so, to put our legs up. Yeah. Everyone says put your legs up, but they don't. It's not really the legs you want up. It's your pelvis the that pelvis, you want up. Yeah. So, I kind of finessed a little device yeah. to put under her hips. To put the hips up, not mm -hmm. really the legs, because the legs don't matter. It doesn't matter. Every time she put her legs up, but it, it won't work. do anything. Yeah. You want actually hips to be up, right? So yeah. So that was for the first time, and then at night for the like the day of, and then the next day she decided to not get up at all. Mm-hmm. Usually I would go to the bathroom and like pee after. Mm -hmm. but she I, even wait like 15, 30 minutes. I even waited, yeah, yeah. But this time I was like, you know what? Up. It is what it is. Like I'm just gonna sleep with it, because I had seen that in one of the forums that I read. Someone was like, oh. I didn't pee after baby dance, just so slept the whole night just slept after. with it, and I got pregnant. And after reading that, I was like, okay, let me try that. And we did that one month, and then next month was the month for pregnant. So we did that. That was a key that month. one month I got yeah. pregnant. We only did it like that one time. Like we mm -hmm. did it the I don't know how many times we did it, but we only tried it like that one month, and mm -hmm. that's when I got pregnant. Mate. And we also I think another game changer we use pre seed, mm -hmm. which really helps the sperm swim. I and saw the that in the the four, one yeah. mates. I keep telling you. Yeah. I saw that in the forums. The the girls were sharing what they used. Mm. We and used then this recommended. for two months. Yeah. And the first month we thought like we almost got pregnant, mm -hmm. and then the second month is the one that we got we pregnant. We got pregnant. So, so this recommend. I think was a game yeah. changer too. Another thing. What that, does it do? Explain to people if they don't know what it so is. So it basically it's like it helps the sperm swim better. Mm -hmm. Like imagine basically. You're on the street because, versus a highway. Because like I'm prone to cysts and stuff, and we're like things are probably bumpy up in there, you know. So <laughs> they need all the help they can get. Yeah. But this, you basically put it. I'm, we're not gonna go into detail. You can look it up. Yeah. But uh, I think this did help too. Another thing that Naka did do is that after her last period, when she was done, she took okra juice. Yeah, I drank uh, okra. Well, okra water, like basically cutting up okra, putting it in water, leaving Bitter. it overnight. And then it fasted in the morning, first day, first thing right in the morning to drink that okra water. Mm. You did that up until the ovulation. Yeah. Did it for one month, I yeah. think. Yeah, the Actually, same month we got yeah. pregnant. I do think that their okra water, this, tracking ovulation, tracking ovulation and then sleeping, sleeping with it with were the, some game changers. Yeah. The supplements and stuff, it could be like addition, yeah. cherry on top. And like I say, I always, you know, pray because nothing's gonna happen yeah, if exactly. you, know, you don't get the gift. And so, I think those are really like the things that did help. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend. Track your population, guys. Track, track, That's track. That's the most important Forget thing. the apps. Get these. Yeah. These, uh, and just, they're cheap. It's the drop, cheap. Yeah, so basically drop the other apps. Join the community that we have. Yeah. <laughs> and get the strips. <laughs> but click the link in the description. <laughs> the tongue cat is not talked about a lot. And you do want to make sure it's a good one. Um, but tongue cat Ali, like what... What if someone has low sperm? Do you think they can still take it, or because it doesn't give you more? Does it give you more sperm, or just makes it better? Uh, it's, it's. I think the studies I read was that it actually is one of the only ones that actually like increases sperm. Oh, okay. So like basically the way that testosterone works is that you have free testosterone and then total testosterone. So you can have like super high total testosterone, mm -hmm. but if you're free is low it, it doesn't matter what your total is because your free is what you actually use mm. and this helps the free testosterone mm. versus a lot of the other supplements like the maca and mm -hmm. the ashwagandha and stuff they're gonna raise your total but you what you want is that you want your free testosterone to be able to use your total mm. yeah. so yeah even if you have low sperm if even if you have high sperm good sperm like dominic had it, it's good mm. you can still the, use the it. way that i saw it is that even though my sperm and my things, my numbers were good, it was like, I can't, it, it can't hurt to make them better. Yeah. You know, like, let's say like I was average, like by taking maybe this, maybe I put them like Superman, mm -hmm. you know? So like you the way me. I see it, That's it was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like whatever I can do that to help. At the same time, it's like supporting your partner, yeah. right? Because you're both on this journey together. So mm -hmm. you, you do want to kind of do the best that you can do for your partner, right? And it's disrespectful if your man doesn't want to take Tonka Ali. Or a test. That's yeah, rude. If, if, Why don't a lot of women want to take these tests? Yeah, like, like you, you got to put your ego aside. Yeah. And you don't, it's, it's nothing about not being a man or whatever because you just got to keep your ego aside and do mm -hmm. the test. And the, the thing is that you can't blame one another. You can't blame yourself, mm -hmm. right? And if you are going through that, like, do realize that it's not your fault. It's not your partner's fault. It's no one's it's fault. It's literally, that's and, just life. you know, us, it was patience. And, yeah. you know, but hopefully we this video... We got to a point where I didn't think we are ever going to have kids. And one thing that did help, I think, is that we kind of... We had the conversation about, like, what if we yeah. don't, you know? And I think that's an important conversation to have. And it came to a point where 
It was like accepting the fact that it's not gonna be this month or next month. It might be this year. Yeah. We, we were. It might be this year, not this month, you know, or like yeah. next month. It was more like this year, maybe. Staying hopeful was, was hard. It was very hard, and it obviously, like, if you guys are watching this and you're going through it, you know, it's like it becomes a job. You know, yeah. it becomes like. So it takes the the purpose out of it. But right? that month that we got pregnant, it was the best. It was, mate. Yeah. Oh, I'll never forget when we were baby dancing. It was too good, <laughs> mate. Like it was the best. Like I don't know. Like Sesame was made with love. Mm. Like. I don't know. We were on a high that yeah. month, me. And stress is important. You know when when they say like the worst thing that we used to hate is don't think about it as you're happy. Oh. Like, that's the worst thing you can say to someone going through this because you you, you can't not think about mm -hmm. it. So I think like the thing is that if you want to not think about it, which is impossible, it's they say that because when you think about it, you get stressed. So yeah. instead of being like, don't think about it, do things to take the stress down. So mm -hmm. I go for a couple's massage, you know? And they even say like, sometimes it happens when they had wine. Well, because they're less stressed when they yeah. have wine, they have Dominic alcohol, would give right? you. Also make sure when you do it, your man makes you, oh. Finish. That's a key. Every single time we did it, Dominic was, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys. <laughs> Hopefully this video helped. Yeah, hopefully you this know. helped you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and comment down in the comment section what you did, if you struggled mm. with infertility, what got you pregnant, mate. So, mm. ooh, like we said, we made it, mate. Yeah. Sesame's cooking up in here. And we'll see you in our next video, mate. Smash the like button, comment, subscribe. Toodaloo! Talk to you soon. Bye! Um.